Well, Northeast Wisconsin is where we want to be, but can you ever imagine what it would be like to celebrate St. Patrick's Day actually in Ireland? Wonder no more. <laughs> Travel Zoo senior editor Gabe Saglia joins us live from Dublin. Good morning. Hello, great to see you. And by the way, I actually made it all the way to the west coast of Ireland. I'm in Limerick City now on what they call the Wild Atlantic Way. Uh, gorgeous landscapes, great little towns and villages like Limerick City. Check this out. This is King John's Castle, uh, dating back to the early 1200s. History brought to life. Look at these. This is how they would settle arguments back in the day. So these guys are in character all day long, welcoming folks from all over the world inside some great interactive 3D models and uh, interactive displays that bring this history to life. But again, 1200 is when this uh, castle was built. Limerick City, we actually have a, 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 a turret camera. So we take the, there it is. I want to show you guys exactly where we are. So Limerick City is the third largest city in Ireland. It uh, dates back to the early 800s, founded by the Vikings. So plenty of history in this area and all around. Uh, and um, it, it, it re remains one of the great destinations here on the west coast of Ireland, the wide Atlantic way. I've met some friends here. I want to show you real quick some of my friends. These are the Bunratty Singers. Bunratty Castle is just about 20 minutes from here. They do these medieval banquet shows twice a night. Uh, there's a great little folk park there. For those of you who have been to this part of Ireland, Ireland. You might know Bunratty Castle, one of the most uh, visited castles uh, in this part of Ireland. And you know what's really fantastic? Here's the food. Okay, these are my, my friends here uh, at Alex Findlater and Company at the Savoy Hotel. Look at the seafood, just harvested just down the coast here, just hours ago, and then it makes it onto your plate. Uh, they, they, they do this every night there, uh, and Savoy Hotel, if you like to stay in luxury, you come to Limerick City, you stay at the Savoy Hotel. This is Treaty City Brewery, the first brewery to open up in Limerick in about 130 years. They're opening up a tasting room here in a couple of months. So if you come here in the summer season, uh, starting this year, you'll find some great brews here at uh, Treaty City uh, Brewery. We've got BT Wines. They make the wines in Germany and then age it in peat that is, uh, that is harvested here in, in, um, in Limerick City. And, of course, the milk market here in Limerick. This is a tradition that goes back hundreds and hundreds of years. The chocolate, the ham, the, 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 the produce, the bread. I mean, it's just fantastic. This chocolate, by the way, 70% cocoa made with seaweed harvested off the coast just down the way here. So, I mean, if you're a foodie. You gotta come here, West Coast of Ireland. <laughs> hey, Gabe, uh, you know, a lot of people follow their roots to travel to Ireland, but for those of us who are not necessarily Irish, is it an easy place to get around, to get to? What, logistically, what's it like? So, you're right, 34 and a half million Americans claim some degree of Irish heritage, so the genealogy travel has definitely been big here, and there is a big call for what they call a diaspora, folks who uh, you know, would use genealogy and that genetic link to travel out here. But if you're like me, there is, you don't have any Irish blood flowing through your veins. Uh, it, it's, it's so easy to get around. First of all, the hospitality is as palpable and as, and as real as, as, as rumor has it. To get to the west coast of Ireland, you're flying to Shannon Airport. I got through customs in like three and a half minutes. Easy breezy, you rent a car, and then you uh, drive uh, up and down the coast. Okay. Well, thank you, and happy St. Patrick's Day to you. <laughs> Same to you.